St. Paul. My name is Christina Pantorato and here are your morning announcements. The University of Western Ontario invites students to take advantage of the opportunity to visit Western's main campus for fall or winter campus tours Monday through Friday in the mornings. Fall preview day is Saturday November 20th March break. Open house is Saturday March 12th 2011. Students need to register. More info will be on the board. The U.S. University's presentation takes place today. Also, the University College apprenticeship visits will continue during lunches. <clears throat> there will be an Act Now meeting this Thursday, November 11th, immediately after school. Please submit your permission forms for Street Patrol by that time or to Ms. Bueno over the course of the week in the Religion Office. The Act Now Committee would like to thank all of you for your generous candy contributions. They collected many boxes full of sweets. The children thank you. St. Paul, you are the little school with the big heart. Thank you again. And now time for sports. All senior girls interested in trying out for this year's senior girls volleyball team, the next tryout will be taking place tomorrow morning at 6.45 a.m. sharp. All are welcome to attend. A reminder to the senior girls basketball team that there is a practice today after school. And now a word from Mr. Schmidt. A good Monday morning to the St. Paul community. I've got some very important announcements for today and for the balance of the week. As you know, this is the week of Remembrance Day and we have a number of items throughout the week that we are going to make sure that our school community has an opportunity to witness. This Thursday, as you know, we will be having two, two different assemblies that have been organized for our Remembrance Day uh, festivities. However, earlier in the week, on Wednesday, we are breaking with some tradition and bringing in our feeder school students from our four feeder schools, and they'll have an opportunity to see that same presentation on Wednesday. So it is an extremely busy week. And one very, very important change. I've talked about the culture of caring and the choice that students have. This choice is going to be manifested today in the fourth period for senior students. Originally, we had planned for grade 12 students, but I want all grade 11 and 12 students, that's all 11 and 12 students, to attend this assembly in the fourth period when you are called down. You will report to your fourth period, and you will be called down. We have representatives from a number of American colleges who are here to talk about the possibility of attending in the United States at different colleges and what scholarship, scholarship opportunities there may be for you to take advantage of. So make sure that you're aware that this is on in the fourth period and you take advantage of it. A couple of protocol matters I, I need to deal with in terms of simply traffic flow. At lunch times, I would ask that at least for the first 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes of both lunches at 11 o'clock and at 12.20, if you're not going in to buy anything, to please not go into the servery. We're finding that crowds and crowd control is becoming an issue. So we would ask you to stay out of there and do your shopping 20 minutes in if you're just going in to look in the servery for those items. And a special this week, we're trying something uniquely different. It's going to be fajita day in the servery, and we encourage you to take advantage of that particular option, because I certainly like fajitas and will be in there myself. And the song of the day is Letting Go by Sean Kingston and Nicki Minaj. Have a super day at St. Paul. 